There are a few locations that you can get print drivers for your Fiery controller. The recommended site is not the Konica Minolta site, as although it may have drivers for the Fiery that you have, it may not have the latest drivers or it may not have the all the options for the different versions of operating systems that uh, you may need. So where I'm going to start with is I'm going to open up my web browser I'm going to navigate to my Fiery itself and when I navigate to that don't be afraid if you get this warning that comes up and says your connection is not private that you're not on a secure site this is actually going to a site internal to your network and it is the Fiery it's just that that Fiery may not have been set to use the HTTPS protocol so it's just warning you that it's not using that you can hit the advanced button and say that proceed to that website and the page from the Fiery itself will now come up. This is still looking at the Fiery internal to your network. So in this case it's saying this is the Fiery that you're connecting to and you will see here that I've got a section for software downloads. If I open that section up I can choose that I want to do the Mac OS drivers, I can choose I want to download Windows drivers, and I've got a link to download the drivers from there. When I do this, it will save it onto my computer, wherever my normal downloads folder is, so that I can access those files. If for some reason, the driver that you download from there is not the proper driver for the version of operating system that you need, you can download that file directly from the EFI website. The first thing that you'll need to know is the model number and the version of system software that's installed on your Fiery in order to be able to access the correct version. The easiest place to get that is still on this page here. If we click this link for check product updates, then that will bring us up a page and on this page that is still also coming from EFI, you will see that it shows that you have a Fiery IC313 and the system software is version 2.2. This is going to be important when we get to the EFI site to be able to download print drivers. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to just do a Google search for, in my case, I'm looking for a C3080 Fiery controller. And when I do that search, it comes back, and the first thing I get returned back here is the EFI site that shows this is for the Konica Minolta Press that I would like to see. When I access that web page, I get this. And once I'm on this page, you'll see that I've got a direct link to go download drivers. When I click the download drivers button, I come to a download registration page. Once I fill out the required information on this page and click the submit button, I next move to the download center. Pre-selected for you as you move to this link is going to be Konica Minolta and the model of equipment that you are searching for drivers for. If you remember, back when we were on this web updater site, we had the model and the version of system software that I mentioned that we needed to remember for later on. This is where we need that. So now I know that I needed the IC313 version 2.2 software, so I select this item. Now it gives me the choice of which operating system do I want to have drivers for. If I select that I'd like to have the OS 10.11, OS 10.15 drivers, when I click Find, it will now come and show me these are the two of drivers that are available for that. I'm looking for the English version of Driver, so I'm going to choose this second option and hit the Download button. This is going to give me the print driver disk image file that I can install on my Mac Catalina if that was where I was trying to get a driver for.